Ah. <laughs> Chin up, Nasha. We'll buy you a new drum kit. This is exactly what the Din Makers Emergency Fund is for. What's in the kitty, Curly? Uh, two fruit gums and a potato. <gasps> Paul, that's where you've been. Oh. oh, I love you. Just tell us what we can afford. Drum <laughs> solo! <laughs> That's all we can afford? What are we going to do? What's that, Paul? Why don't we enter tonight's Bean Old Town Battle of the Bands competition and win a brand new drum kit for Nasha? See poster window for detail. What are you on about, Pie Face? There's no poster in the. <gasps> the Bean Old Town Battle of the Bands competition! Brilliant! Well done, Paul. Never ending on and on and on. Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> and there it is, boys. First prize. Ah, so, who are we up against then, Mr. Mayor? Um, so far, just Walter. <laughs> on and on and on. <laughs> boys, something tells me this one is in the bag. Just filling the entry form. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Mayor. Must I really remind you of page 12, paragraph 6, clause 28 of the competition rules? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Actually, yes, I have no idea what it is. All competing acts must include at least one adult, a rule which clearly renders the din makers ineligible for this competition. Hang on, you don't have an adult. Sorry I'm late, Walter. Me didgeridoo was out of tune. So, Dennis, unless you can recruit a grown-up to join your pathetic excuse for a band by tonight, I suggest you tootle off home and play with your catapult. Two, three, four. Never ending. What are we going to do, Dennis? Chill, Pie Face. All we got to do is find ourselves a grown-up dim maker, and I know just the person. So, we thought you could be the lead singer. What do you think, Gran? Singer in a band, eh? And I thought Supply Zookeeper was a cool job. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, boys? <laughs> Two, three, four! <laughs> <laughs> Orders. Home. Now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dennis. I'm sure you'll find someone else. Yeah, but who? We're the Din Makers. We need somebody wild. Someone who's a real animal. Where are we going to find someone like that? <sighs> Homeward, lads. No, I thought you locked it. We'll do it now, before any of them escape. Just know some grown up who could be our lead singer. The Colonel? Too balmy. Mrs. Creature? Too scary. Charles Dickens? Too. um. dead. Oh, biscuits, lads. Take a break, eh? Not easy finding yourself a lead singer. <laughs> and I should know, back when I was lead singer with Snot Bazooka, all the other punk bands, they would be begging me to be their uh, lead singer. <gasps> of course! It's been staring us in the face all along. <laughs> Mum, she'd be brilliant. Oh, dream on, Dennis. Dad, I need you in the kitchen and get changed at once. You look like an idiot. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> huh? Hey, where'd all the biscuits go? Oh, the gorilla at them. All oh, right. 
Eh? <laughs> We'd better call the zoo, Dennis. They'll come and collect them. Or we don't, on account of genius wearing a striped jumper. Stop! Stop! No more practicing! There are no other entrants! I'm cancelling the competition! Just please stop! So, what you're really saying is that, as per Rule 68, Paragraph 12, Clause 8, we win by default, yes? Yes, fine, all right, whatever. Just take the drums and go. Golly, we won something. Mother will be so proud. Pause off, boys. <laughs> this show ain't over. Meet the newest member of the Din Makers. Hello. He's big, he's bad, and he's totally a grown-up. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Bite radius, saliva samples, trajectory of peeling motion, there can be no doubt. Whatever ate this banana was not a grown-up human man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bino Town, and good night! This is gonna be one epic walkover. Okay, boys, dog, gorilla, potato, let's go rock the house! <laughs> 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 How many times, Bill? You're the one meant to lock it, not me. I'm... <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> <laughs> to bring to your attention a most cruel and shocking deception. This man is not a man! <laughs> Since the Din Makers have no adult human in their ranks, I demand they be immediately disqualified. Oh. Oh. You see, boys, everything exactly as planned. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Battle of the Band's first prize. Dennis and the Din Makers, featuring Dad. That's my boy. Hmm, maybe it's his technique. Drill. <laughs> no use. We've lost her. Nah, it just needs a J. 
gentle tap. Sledgehammer! Good boy, Nipper. Did you have a hand? <laughs> Four hour hog rally after all. Oh, I'm sorry, love. No pets allowed on this one. I did tell you. <laughs> no problem. Nipper can spend the day with us, right, Nasha? Nasha! <laughs> 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 oh, well, as long as your mum don't mind. Ta ta! <laughs> of course she won't mind. No way! I am not having two dogs here. Never again! The, the postman made me promise he can go to doggy daycare. Oh, it's okay. That's like a doggy hotel, Nipper. Pool, ice cream, bones. It'll be fun. How much? For one day? I'll take it. Right, Nipper's books into the Palace of Doggy Delights. It's a luxury resort for dogs? Well, it's worth every penny if it bides me a day of peace and quiet. <laughs> she loves you really, Nipper. <laughs> she just doesn't always know how to show it. <laughs> <laughs> the Palace of Doggy Delights? <laughs> wow! I heard they have solid gold food bowls. And the biggest bones in Beano Town, not to mention a private pool. Paul could use a bit of pampering. He's looking tired. Your day of poochy pampering awaits. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, it tastes like meat. Welcome to the Palace of Doggy Delights. <laughs> Don't my Rufus, he's a big softy. <gasps> oh, and who's this little fella? <coughs> oh, what's in your flea bag? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how adorable. Uh, hey, can we have a go in your pool? Don't be daft. <laughs> I mean, four-legged friends only. <laughs> nice, nice. Paying four-legged friends only. Unless, of course, it's a double booking. <laughs> nah, Mother would blow a fuse if she had to pay for both of them. Oh, can my pet Paul stay with you? Of course. What breed is he? King Edward. Huh? Well, if you can afford the fee, he's welcome. Oh, do you take pie? <laughs> <laughs> you can pick him up this evening. <clears throat> oh, they grow up so fast. Fancy a dip in the pool? Yep, yep. Tough luck, Squirt. All of this stuff is just for show. <laughs> Rufus, show this stuck-up pup where he's really staying. of doggy delights. <laughs> I hope Paul gets spoiled rotten. I don't. Who wants a rotten potato? <laughs> Ow, what is it? Oh, Paul's blankie. He won't settle without it. We have to go back. Now then, chips or mash? Chips or mash? I wonder who that could be. <laughs> Perhaps another fool happy to splash the cash. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, did you miss me? Don't say a word. What am I saying? Talking to a potato. Mind if we see our nipper settling in? Yes, I do. Oh, I mean. We're, we're just far too busy, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, you don't look busy. Where are all the dogs? <laughs> Where is it? Hold it right there. That's, that's a private area. Staff and dogs only. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I wouldn't if I were you. When Rufus hears that whistle, it's no more Mr. Nice Dog. <laughs> Just got 
him off to sleep. I just wanted to make sure he stayed for dinner. <laughs> now get out and stop disturbing my guests. Doggy delights? Fishy tails, more like. Yeah, if that's a doggy daycare, where are all the dogs? Through that door, I bet, and they didn't sound happy. We need to know what's going on back there. <laughs> nash, nash, nash. Nasher Cam is a go. Nice work, Curly. Time for Plan D and G. <laughs> oh, good. He's giving Paul his bath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is the worst guard dog in the world. Never mind that. Look what Nash has found. <laughs> Nash! Well, well, well. I do believe we've got ourselves a stray dog. It's not a palace, it's a prison. <laughs> Let's see you chew your way out wearing that <laughs> With any luck, your family will start to miss you and offer up a big, juicy reward. Right, there's barbed wire on the back fence, cameras on all sides, the sewers are rusted shut. I say we go for the roof. Once we're in, we crawl through the ventilation ducts, bypass the security alarms and drop down the rubbish chute. Any questions? Yeah. Why don't we just use the dog flap? <laughs> oh, yeah, we could just... Do that. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Chips. Oh, my. <laughs> Wait, Pipey. I know, Nasha, there'll be a diversion any second. Now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you keep it! I am trying to make my dinner. Coast clear, now! Oh, hang on, I'm stuck. Oh. Oh. oh, that's better. Oh, do you think anyone heard us? <laughs> like I said, world's worst cat dog. Oh. Shut it or you'll all be sorry. Don't say I didn't warn ya! <laughs> Dad, good puppy! Leave this to me! No one potato naps, Paul! Oh, I got so tired! Where's that mutt got to? No, oh, he probably didn't hear me. <laughs> oh, that was close. Come on! Show these wimps who's top dog around here. Oh, finally! There's only one top dog around here, and that's Nasher. Genius wears a striped jumper. Oh, you stupid kid! Without that whistle, Rufus is just a soppy waste of space! Please, please, I didn't mean it, Rufus. Oh, yeah, yeah, old friends. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'll give you a steak every night if you... Ah! Let me out of here. What's wrong? Don't you like the five-star facilities? <laughs> Good job he's fond of cages. He'll be seeing loads where he's headed. <laughs> Prison. Sergeant, shouldn't someone look after these dogs till their owners get here? Hmm. Result! It's a dog's life, eh, Nasha? <laughs> Ready for the ultimate water slide of doom, Nasha? Nash, Nash! Please take your jumper off, Dennis. It's so hot today.
Panic over. Chap at work lent me this research prototype he's testing out. Rejuvenating regeneration for the follically challenged. Hmm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <gasps> Wowza! <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome! Hurry up, Dennis, or you'll be late for the school trip to the zoo. Cool. Time for some hair-raising action, eh, Nasha? <laughs> Remember, class, no feeding the animals. Is that clear, Pie Face? Absolutely, miss. These babies are all mine. <laughs> What's in the bag, Dennis? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> you know, apes are our closest relatives in the animal kingdom. 95% of their DNA is identical to ours. Oh, <gasps> oh, <gasps> banana. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the Beano Town hairy mammoth. Mammoth? They're extinct. Duh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Bet you'll lunch that there's a mammoth here. <laughs> You're on. Me too. I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't suppose yours has got a pie in. What's happened to Elvis? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dennis, school. Now. Huh? <laughs> The medicine begin. Nasha, Nasha. <gasps> Nasha, what happened? Well, funny you should ask. He went in next door's pool and came back looking like this. Oh. I don't suppose you'd know how that might have happened, Dennis. Uh, sorry, Mum. No good apologising to me. Apologise to your dad. He went in after Nasha. I think you look cool, Dad. Good afternoon, morning. We've had reports of a gorilla on your premises. A gorilla, Sergeant? Oh, there's no gorilla here. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Come on, you. Back to the zoo. But, but Sergeant, he's not dangerous. <laughs> Looks dangerous to me. There's only one place for a creature like that. <laughs> yeah. Dad! Dad! Oh, what have I done? Get in! We've got to follow that van! Yes. <laughs> Stop! It's not a gorilla! It's my dad! Don't be daft! Whoa! Oh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you out. Am I glad to see you? It's me, Pieface's dad. Walter's dad invited me for a dip in their pool, you know, because it was so hot. And Luke! Still, three bananas, though. Oh, this is bad. No, this is super bad. Gotta get Dad out. Better get mine out, too. Huh? Mum got a call from Dad inside the gorilla enclosure. He's loving the free bananas, though. OK, we need to find an antidote first. Nasha, you'll have to be our guinea pig. I, I mean, dog. Nash, 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 nash. OK, let's see 
see if this works. That's brilliant! Seriously, though, we'd better find the antidote. Don't worry, Nasha. We'll think of something. Nash. <laughs> okay. Let's see if test number 273 will do the job. <laughs> <laughs> Striped jumper! What's the magic formula? <laughs> Ahem. One part liquid, add three parts dissolving agent, add to the hair restorer, shake repeatedly for ten minutes, then dilute with 100% purification solution. What? Water! Pure tap water! The chlorine in the pool mixed with the hair restorer caused a chemical reaction. This created a new super formula that sped up the hairiness. <sighs> I diluted the pool water with simple tap water and ta-da! The super formula was neutralized and we get zero hairiness. Okay! I didn't understand any of that, but it sounded great. Come on, let's go give our dads a really good soaking. Oh, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo's closed! Too many new gorillas! We're sending the extra ones away! What? <sighs> right, Operation Super Nash! Nash, Nash! Nash, 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 Fresh air. It's very hot being airy, you know. Dennis, look! Is that your dad? Quick, Nasha! Yes. Don't worry, Dad. We're here to rescue you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, it could just be an actual gorilla. <laughs> 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 Dennis. Help! <laughs> Better give him a hand. <laughs> Get ready, everyone! Who? <laughs> Thank yous. Oh, I don't know how I would have gotten back into their enclosure if it wasn't for Nasha. Eh? Nash, Nash. You've all got free zoo passes for life. <laughs> Anyone save my dad? Uh, was I supposed to get out? Everything's back to normal. The gorillas are back in their cages. Pie Face's dad's making banoffee pies. And dad's got his ball patch back. <laughs> um, Dennis, isn't there a ban on using water because of the heat wave? Yeah, but I'm using special water. Postman preparing to pull. Uh, uh, I must draw your attention to Postal Delivery Service Article 49B, Subsection 12, which expressly states. Uh, 
This is all that's left of my year subscription to Magnet Monthly. What's Magnet Monthly? The only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, Ant Admirer and Collectible Placemats. Wow. What, sir? I... I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy fashion, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace! Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're gonna be a postman? Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. <laughs> Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. Huh? We'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Postman? It's a prototype. All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes News. I told the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid! Porridge enthusiast. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. Post? We've not had post for months. Poor Nasha. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, well, no! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasha can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. Me and Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... You've built a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded. You and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pie Face. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside now. You're grounded. Then sorting post. Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> Hello? Is that the dog catcher? I need you to bring your largest net. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming with me! Uh, Dennis, we have a problem. Uh, I have to go rescue Pie Face. He's been taken by the dog catcher. <sighs> Why does that sentence not surprise me? 
Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. <laughs> What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs to be sorted pile. See ya! Another wild dog! Hey, aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Oh, sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point. It's doing the job. Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman. With pants! Yes, yes. Hello? Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, Ready. a magazine called Magnet Monthly? I know. Free magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Magnet Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant. My name? It's Walter. <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. Ha! I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk! <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvellous! <laughs> <laughs> your old job back? Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still, at least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Nash! Hello, woofing dog. Congratulations. A new record. Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I. So, what's next for our champion then? <laughs> Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh, well. <laughs> Largest sausage is on the move. Operation Distract Nasha is go! <coughs> Nasha's going to love this! What are you doing, Dennis? A big temptation.
location, like the world's largest sausage, demands a big distraction. <laughs> My garden! <laughs> What with that reprobate Nasher at large? Don't you worry, Walter. I told Dennis that if Nasher so much as touches that giant sausage, it's the kennels for good. Oh, excellent policing. Indeed. Fun but fair. Cuteous! Oh, oh. Um, Walter? <laughs> Sergeant Slipper, do something! Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, never said anything about normal-sized sausages, <laughs> which are very, very tasty, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Walter. I couldn't have come up with a better distraction myself. Oh, Dennis! You won't get away with me! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Saying you won't get away with you. <laughs> hey, Butch, I just spoke to Chump. They're sending their chop man. I can't believe it. Chomp! The coordinated headquarters for official meat products are coming to judge my little old sausage. This little old sausage will put Beano Town on the map. Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Who elbows me? <gasps> <gasps> Is everything okay? No. There's a massive vibe! Yes, yes! yes. Everything's fine! <laughs> oh, yes, that's... that's right. Everything is fine. I don't understand! Who could have gotten through the lasers? Wait a minute. This looks like an animal bite! Hmm. An agile animal with an insatiable appetite for sausages. And the biggest jaws in Beano Town. But who? No, I've got nothing. Uh, it's Nasha, obviously. Wait a minute. I've got it. It's Nasha, of course. Ah, oh, give me strength. <laughs> Didn't get your fill last night, eh, Nasha? Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Nasha is under arrest for biting Butch's giant sausage. One bite? There's no way it was Nasha then. He would have eaten the whole thing. Good thing he didn't. That's a potentially record-breaking sausage. Nash! Don't worry, Nasha. We'll have you out in no time. Meet me at the treehouse and bring your best moustache. One bite. No way that was Nasha. There'd be nothing left. Not to mention he was with me the whole night. Which can only mean one thing. <laughs> Nasha has an evil twin, like Paul. Oh, Nasha's been set up. And we're going to find out by who. Curly, how much do you know about the coordinated headquarters for official meat products? Ah, sorry, Mr. Man. We're not open to the public yet. C-H-O-M-P, Inspector. That's quite a sausage. <laughs> Step this way, gentlemen. We have some paperwork to fill in. Psst. Take a swab. <laughs> Time for Operation Bog. But I went before we left home. That's B O G. Bust out, Nasha. Oh, phew. <laughs> And then, of course, there was that huge brat verse from Bavaria. Yes. 
underpants. Scramble! Uh-oh! Underpants! Oh, but I only got two pairs! Come on, Piper's underpants! <laughs> Okay, Nasha, this is the scent of the record-breaking sausage. Find the missing piece, and we find the culprit. Mr. Mayor, sir, this gentleman says he's from Chomp. Hear about the record. Lucky us, eh? Two in one day. Uh-oh. Come back here, you uh, Uh-oh. Nasha, unleash the please. <laughs> nice one, Nasha. Now, we flee. Hello, hello, Slipper. Yeah, uh, it's me. Nasha, got away. <laughs> Walter! Of course it's Walter! It's always Walter! Hmm. Dennis! I thought that mutt of yours was locked up! Stop right there, Dennis! <laughs> oh, well done, Sergeant Slipper! Seize the giant sausage biter and his rascal of an owner immediately! Hang on! How does he know about the sausage being bitten? Oh. Yes, Walter. How do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I just put two and two together. Uh, giant sausage, <laughs> and Nasher on the loose. It's obvious. Run, Claudius. Huh? <laughs> hey, I just shampooed the carpet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, Walter. What? It's not inconceivable that he acted alone, is it? OK, fine. I may have helped a little. Sorry, Nasha. As for you, Claudius, you're off to the kennel for a night. But... but there is no kennel for cats in Beano Town. I know! <laughs> Too bad Curly's a good this. Curly! <laughs> You can drop the act now. Uh, huh? Yeah, good thing they sent you out from HQ to help with the measuring. Not sure how I would have handled this on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, just a few millimetres off. Sorry, folks. Record remains. Well, I wanted a record. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Why? Why? Hang on. I'll give you a record. Got a stopwatch? Hello? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! We have a new giant sausage speed eating world record! Well done, Dennis! Your dog has put Beano Town on the map! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Mop boy, clean up on stage.
friends of Beano Town. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Triple somersault. Uh, am I dreaming? Ow! Nope. Oh, you were brilliant, Walter. Cool skateboard. Is that the Armageddon? Not just the Armageddon. This is the Armageddon Ultrasonic Demon. Series 4. What? Even my gran could do a triple somersault with that board. Really? You hear that, Walter? Denny says that even his gran could do a triple with your board. Pfft. I bet she couldn't. I bet she could. How about if your gran pulls off the triple, then you're the skate king all summer and Walter's banned. If she doesn't, you're the skate king and Dennis is banned. You're on! <laughs> Saturday of the month. It's before lunch. That means... Morning, dears. Biscuits. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Gran, Walter reckons you can't do a triple somersault on his skateboard. <laughs> this kingpin can still grind steel on the half pipe. Keep up, everybody. <laughs> to see a triple. <laughs> Take a last look at the park, Walter. Only one of us is born to rule, and it's not you. OK, champ, get out there and knock him dead. <laughs> I've got nothing to fear. An ultrasonic demon has a remote steering unit. Isn't that a little like cheating? No, Dudley. It's a lot like cheating. You can do it, Gran. I know it. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Can't look. Tell me when it's over, Paul. Oh, 
Majesty, could I have a go on your cool board? Absolutely not. Now get down there with the other riffraff. Oh. How's your gran doing, Dennis? Oh, she's all back to normal. Ready for a fart attack. Yes. Yes. Fresh from the oven. It's real? Yes, dear. Coming in. Must get on with the dusting. You feeling all right, Gran? Oh, I am now, Dennis. What was I thinking? Skateboarding at my age? But you're the king pipe of the harping. No, hang on a minute. The pit pipe of the ting pong. Not anymore. We've got other ways to have fun. What do you mean, we? Me and the girls. Oh. Company. <laughs> This doesn't make any sense. It's because it's all in pieces, love. Oh. Curly, pie face, code red and black alert. Garden, now. Oh, you've worked it out. Yes, I have. It's time for plan D and G. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to get my pranking, menacing, gross-out gran back? Ready! Nash, nash. Do you like my new ring, Betty? Oh! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> A drink, Patty. <laughs> Dennis, that was naughty and very... <laughs> Stop knitting! What else have you got? Chewing gum chum. <laughs> Good one, Gran. Brilliant. <laughs> Remember? It's only because Walter used a remote control on the board. That's why your gran couldn't skate. <gasps> oh. I think I am old a rematch. Let's burn rubber, Thomas. <laughs> Oi! We demand a rematch! And why would I agree to that? Don't. We'll show everyone how you cheated last time. Very well. I will generously allow Dennis's Gran another go at the triple somersault. Use my board, Gran. Oh, oh. Ready for the triple, Gran? I was born ready. Nash, nash, nash! 